Hello, I'm Dennis Avery, pastor of Victorious Life Church in Fosters, Alabama. This is my beautiful wife, Vicki. We're here today as we're celebrating the 4th of July, Independence Day. We just want to tell you all happy 4th of July. May you have a blessed and wonderful celebration. But as you're celebrating this wonderful occasion of our country and eating barbecue, watermelons, shooting fireworks, don't forget to pray. Don't forget to thank God for what you have, the freedoms and the liberties that men and women made a great sacrifice for, that many made the ultimate sacrifice for and died for, that we have this freedom that we have, this liberty that we have, this land of the free and home of the brave, that we thank God for uh, America and the light that it has been to the world because of the freedom to worship God, the freedom to worship the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and to know Jesus and to tell the world about Jesus. This great freedom, this liberty that we have is what this country was established for. God ordained America for this purpose. God raised up this country for this purpose. Uh, and thank God for America. Thank God for this day that we celebrated. So pray for America. Pray for our leaders. And when you celebrate, remember those who paid the ultimate price. And honor them. And most of all, we have everything that we have because of Jesus Christ and the price that he paid on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago when God so loved this world, lost in sin, and sent his son Jesus to take the sins of the world, to suffer, to die, to pay the price for those sins, and then God raised him from the dead that we might have life, life eternal, that we might have life and life abundantly, that we might have this great nation and be born into this great nation. We can thank God for it every day of our life. Don't forget the most important things when you celebrate this 4th of July, this Independence Day. God bless you. We love you in Jesus' name. And we do truly thank God for the United States of America, our freedoms, the freedom to worship God. We truly are one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all and so as we spend time with family and friends and as we relax and, and take a day off we really do need to from the heart thank God for this wonderful beautiful nation that he has blessed us with a life that the gospel flows from all over the world and there's no better place to live and be a part of, and we thank God that he has blessed our nation and will continue to bless the United States of America. God bless America.